Hi, this is Jim Jordan speaking to you from Ashland, Oregon, May 4th, 2013. And today I want to follow up on the last um, video blog I did on candida overgrowth. So if you remember from last time, I was telling you that the candida overgrowth condition will start in the intestines. Usually it's caused by years of poor diet or antibiotic usage or for women if they're using birth control pills. A lot of things combine to contribute to that candida overgrowth that's in the gut and then that can sort of become systemic as it gets into the bloodstream from the leaky gut that's caused by the, de the fungus and candida that's damaging the gut lining. And then you have a whole host of problems. Uh, fatigue, brain fog, achiness, allergies, endless trouble, skin problems. So um, I personally went through this myself in my 20s. And there's another element I want to talk to you about today. Um, so as you know from my previous blogs, the way I see things is that there's usually a combination of factors that contribute to health problems. The major factors are uh, toxins, nutrient deficiencies, stress or uh, emotions, and chronic infections. And the candida is in the chronic infection category. Now there's an there's a interaction between toxicities and chronic infections. So today I want to talk about how heavy metals contribute to health problems and how it's um, interacting with the candida condition in the body. So often um, your body actually can use parasites and or candida to actually absorb some toxicity. So if you have a severe toxic metal condition, your body will retain candida as a sort of a buffer to absorb some of those toxic metals in the bowel. So in my case, I had a mouthful of toxic metals um, from some you know, fillings and accidents where I lost some teeth, and um, the toxicity was very high. Now my candida condition was improved slightly, somewhat, by doing a candida clearing program, but it was not really resolved, and my health did not really improve until I started getting rid of the sources of toxic metals and the accumulations of toxic metals in my case, mercury and nickel primarily, um, and then the candida, with the candida clearing program, cleared up. And my health improved, the bottom line is my health improved. And I see this over and over and over again with people over the 15 years of my practice, that if they don't address toxic metals, reducing the load, reducing the sources, they will not recover their health. Uh, and even if you have reasonably good health, your health will not be optimum unless you address toxic metals. So these metals could be uh, mercury, aluminum. The most common that I see in the, the testing I do, which is a hair analysis test, is mer are mercury and aluminum. Lead, cadmium, arsenic, um, those are the major ones that I see uh, taking place. So the sources of these can be your dental work, uh, medications, um, environmental sources uh, from pollution, uh, from fish that has lots of mercury in it. Um, aluminum from antiperspirants. Uh, the air we breathe now has a lot of aluminum in it for some people that know some of the things that are being sprayed in the air. Um, aluminum canned beverages, um, all kinds of sources. Well water, people that are on well water will often have high, high levels, higher levels of arsenic or other toxic metals. So in, um, in the newsletters I've written over the years, I list the sources of toxic metals and so one of the things we have to do is actually identify which toxic metals are primarily affecting you, and that can be done through testing. Uh, identify the sources in your case, stop or reduce the, the, the source of the toxicity coming your way, and then uh, start to cleanse the heavy metals. So the way that works, the best way to do it is you have to do the detoxification of heavy metals in the correct sequence. Um, if your bowels are sluggish, or your liver is not working perfectly, or well, let's say, not perfectly, but very well, and you start to do a cellular detox of heavy metals, you're going to feel miserable and you will, it will not be good for you. You'll actually recycle the metals, which is more dangerous, and suffer. So the first step is get the bowels moving very well, two to three times a day. So there's the fluid flora fiber and possible colon cleanse uh, option. Once the bowels are moving, some liver support, a week to two, maybe three weeks even, on liver cleansing, getting the proper diet in place, 
getting proper hydration and kidneys working well, then we go to the heavy metals. And there's various um, formulas. I use whole food formulas more, no chelation stuff, everything oral, to do it safely and gently in the correct sequence will over time gradually reduce the toxic load. I see this all the time. Once the toxic load of heavy metals is down, then if you, if you still have any candida left over, um, you can clear it out pretty easily. Not too hard. It's normal to have some candida, remember. The candida itself, just having some is not bad. In fact, it's useful to the body. But having an overgrowth is bad. So what I suggest people do is, um, if you're interested in learning how to, first, st first step is identify the toxic metals that you have, the load, that's done through hair analysis. Then design a program to get um, the bowels moving, the liver working right, and then the heavy metals. And then once we start getting that in sequence, things will work fantastic. You'll start to feel a lot better. Symptoms like achiness, fatigue, brain fog, uh, liver, um, skin problems, digestion problems, immune system disorders, uh, autoimmune conditions, arthritic conditions, inflammatory conditions, all this stuff is going to have an element of toxic metals involved in the condition. So um, the broad picture is get the diet correct, eat a diet that's right for your uh, body's metabolism and metabolic type, um, get proper hydration, exercise, proper rest, uh, fill in the nutrient gaps in your diet with whole food nutrition, uh, identify the primary toxicities and start to clear those out and you'll be on your way to vibrant health. So if you have any questions or you'd like, um, I offer a free 15 minute uh, phone consultation just to let people know how I would work with you. If you're interested in checking that out, call my office at 541-482-2250. My website is www.createvibranthealth.com. Have a wonderful day.